The chemical equation for the reaction is sodium combining with oxygen to form sodium oxide. And the formula for sodium oxide, just like with the lithium oxide, is Na2O. So two sodiums and one oxygen. But if we burn sodium with lots of oxygen, we can actually get a different compound formed. And this is called sodium peroxide. So this has much more oxygen built into its structure. So normal sodium oxide had the formula Na2O. Sodium peroxide has the formula Na2O2. So this is the structure for sodium oxide. Each sodium has lost its electron to give us the Na plus iron. This is counterbalanced now by one oxygen in sodium oxide. So we have an O with double negative charge. But in sodium peroxide, we have two oxygens still joined together. Overall, they have a double negative charge. So if you like, one negative charge each. But now we have the two sodiums and two oxygens in the peroxide unit. OK. Well, what can we do with sodium peroxide? Well, with all this extra oxygen, it turns out to be rather reactive. We can release some of this oxygen. And we can get it to combine with things. So what can I get it to combine with? How about some Rice Krispies? Now, of course, we get our energy uh, by the combination of oxygen with our food, such as our Rice Krispies. So we're going to show exactly that same reaction now. So this is our food, Rice Krispies. Add some oxygen, and the oxygen here is in the form of sodium peroxide. So this is a nice yellow powder. So I'm going to sprinkle this on, just like I would sprinkle my sugar on. Maybe that was a little bit too much sugar. OK, and then, well, you'd add your milk. Well, I'm not going to add milk. I'm going to add some water. And perhaps if we have the lights down. Now, added the water. The water allows the peroxide to come into contact with the Rice Krispies. And look at all the energy that's released. So there's a lot of energy now that's released. And this is as the Rice Krispies burn with uh, the oxygen supplied from the sodium peroxide. So the peroxide had lots of oxygen available to it to react. OK. So that's sodium.